What's the crack lads? Welcome back to the channel. It is Monday and we are taking a look at the new Arsenal club selection. So this for all intents and purposes seems to be the same packs that they were releasing kind of for the Barcelona and the Napoli. Except this is obviously an Arsenal club selection. They didn't win the league this year. So it remains to be seen whether they will do a Champions campaign for Man Manchester City. Because they're obviously not licensed in the game. Um, and if they'll do the same obviously for Bayern now that Bayern won the Bundesliga as well. But let's see what happens. But we do have Arsenal FC here as a club selection. There's some very tasty players in here. Especially if you are a newcomer or you haven't been playing the game that long. If you've downloaded the game recently enough. There's some really good you know, heavy hitters in this pack that we're going to take a look at. So we're going to go from worst to best as we usually do in my opinion. If you guys want dedicated training guides of how to train these players up. I will post a few of those. Just let me know in the comments below which ones you want. And I will get on them as quickly as I can. And I will also get and do a um, live stream today which I'll be doing as well today. So we do have Rob Holding here who in my opinion isn't a bad player. He's got some fairly decent player skills. He's got standard form on C rating. So he's a bit of a write-off this week. But blocker, interception, man marking, heading, sliding, tackle. He's a good height. He's got fairly okay speed and acceleration when you train it up a little bit. His defensive stats go fairly high as well. If we take a quick look at his stats here, just to give you an example. Um, this is probably isn't the best version of him, but just to give you an example, that he does go into the kind of the 90s with the defense when he gets the form arrow. And of course, he'll also be good in the air as well. But to be honest with you, just kind of an average center back at this stage in the game. Now, uh, we've also got Tommy Asu, who I feel is probably one of the picks of the pack here. He is definitely one of the best players in the game if you are starting off. And he can kind of continue on as you build and develop your squad. I definitely really rate him. He's a fantastic player. I would not play him right back, even though he's down as a defensive fullback. I would play him as a center back because when you have a look at his stats here, he goes to a 96 overall from center back with this uh, training guide. So it's 10 into the defending, 7 into aerial strength and dexterity, 8 into lower body, and then 2 into dribbling. I mean, that's just, obviously, um, he's going to go fairly high, but you can get him even more defensive than that if you go CB with him. Um, just to give you a quick example, I mean, obviously, it's nice to have the pace that much, but to be honest, you don't really need the pace that high. Um, and you can also get a little bit of an advantage here if you po pop two more into his defensive capabilities when he gets a form arrow, he's going to get all these stats into the 90s, which is huge apart from aggression. But we can always tweak that if we want to as well. We don't need dribbling if we are going to be using that. And of course, we can just pop one more into defense there as well. And if you even don't you want like um, dexterity, lads, if you don't want to go that speed route, you can actually go like this and then pop two more into that to get the jump higher. Now, he will be down as an 89 on his card, but he will be even higher as a center back. So that's just something to keep in mind. We will do a training guide on him. We've also got, in my opinion, one of the best players. We're going to just take a look at uh, Martinelli and Zinchenko. We'll do Martinelli first. Um, Roman Flank. This guy is rapid quick, lads. He's had a brilliant career for Arsenal, um, or a brilliant season for Arsenal, I should say. He's only a youngster, and I think he's definitely one of the most exciting players to use in eFootball. I don't use him enough, man, because of his form, but I did really enjoy using him when he was on top form. And again, you've got everything that you could probably want from a left midfielder. He's not as tricksy um as like you know the the outright kind of prolific wingers like he doesn't have double touch he doesn't have one touch pass but he does have some really good player ai and player id that he's able to get on the ball out wide and just be able to kind of bring it in a lot easier plus he does have a good engine on him as well as you see there depending on how you train him up you can obviously get that 26 levels with him and of course you can have 91 speed uh, eight, 93 acceleration 87 balance 84 offensive awareness and 90 dribbling which is quite nice we also have Zinchenko here as well. Zinchenko is more of a passing kind of left back. We've been trained up in a slightly different way here. He is a fairly good player, lads, but I would say that if you have had previous versions of Zinchenko, such as the Arsenal Club pack here or the eFootball Championship Pro pack, um, this is a very similar card. And his standard card is quite similar as well, I would say. It's kind of not really worth spinning for Zinchenko. I know a lot of people rave about him. Um, but for me, I'm not going to really play him in my squad. He's a fairly okay player. Um, but he is probably, in my opinion, kind of a specialist player that you're going to be bringing on and really just maxing out. I would probably be maxing out his passing ability just to be able to swing those balls in, you know. So that is just something to keep in mind there as well. Um, but yeah, he's not a bad player. I mean, there's some really good players on this as well as we see here. We've also got our two DMFs, right? So these are kind of similar players. They're both box to box. Um, Jorginho, or sorry, Jorginho is an orchestrator. Uh, Party is a box to box. But they both have similar kind of stats when they train them up, right? So if we're having a look at Party, 
Um, there's no problem with this guy in the middle of the pitch. He is an absolute beast. He doesn't have the best player skills. Like he does have interception, sliding tackle, and fighting spirit, but he doesn't have blocker. Um, he doesn't have man marking. If you want to play manually or automatic uh, defender with the man marking and stuff like that. He also doesn't have unwavering form. He has standard form, but he is on B rating. So that's just something to keep in mind. And his main strengths is exactly that. His physical strength, his actual like getting around the pitch, being an absolute monster in midfield and being a true box to box. But I don't think he is fast enough or kind of agile enough to kind of be an offensive box to box like you might see with somebody like Enzo Fernandez in the game that we had a while back. Or somebody like that that's going to bombard forward with the ball. You know, I would say that Goretzka is probably a better option or somebody like that as a box-to-box or Caicedo or somebody like that. Um, and he is very similar to the previous packs that they released as well. You can see there that there's only a couple of discrepancies between him uh, and the other versions of his card, including this one, which does have a big upgrade, but only seven um, uh, levels. And this standard one has 28 levels. This is 26. So it is probably a better version if you haven't got the eFootball Championship Pro one or this one here, the Marvelous Midfielders. So just keep that in mind. Um, he does have some good player skills. Obviously, as we see here, he's got more than um, his other one. But I, I don't like the fact that he doesn't have blocker meta, especially if you're playing him as a defensive box-to-box. But just, yeah, it's just something personal, I suppose. Somebody somebody um, will use him and be an absolute monster with him. We've also got Jorginho, who, you know, they train up very similar. They've got their defensive stats into the into the 90s, you know, their speed and acceleration into the low 70s, mid-70s, whatever. Uh, Jorginho is obviously a fantastic passer. You can see there that he's got 90 pass with only boosting up his passing by four. So that's really good. Um, he doesn't have blocker either, but he does have one touch pass. He also has interception. He doesn't have side and tackle. So he's not as defensive minded, I would say, uh, with the passing and the dribbling, but he has got better defensive stats um, in a lot of the way, if you see there. So that is just something to keep in mind, lads. And then we've also got our goalkeeper. I'm trying to do this short and sweet. We've got our goalkeeper, Ramsdale. Ramsdale, lads, to me, it kind of plays above his stats. I've used him quite a bit on my Xbox profile. I keep talking about my Xbox profile, but he does have low punt. He doesn't have a long throw. He's not a bad goalkeeper, especially if you're looking to start out and you don't want to spend GP on his um, his you know GP version of 70 grand. Uh, I do think that he is a good option. You know, he's very similar to the pack that they released here. Um, this one, very similar to that. But I think the biggest problem with him is his catching and parrying or clearing, right? He does get 89 to reflexes with the form arrow. That will get a boost. So I wouldn't worry too much about it. But yeah, I mean, you have to go all out for a good goalkeeper, in my opinion, if you are going to be going that route and you want a solid number one in between the sticks. And then last but not least, we probably have the pick of him. Him and Timmy, Tommy Asu, uh, Gabriel Jesus um, is probably, yeah, him and Tommy Asu are definitely the picks of the pack, lads, in my opinion. Uh, massive, massive player. That, like, you'll just see his stats here, even when we don't really train him up, you know, as high as we would if we were training him properly. He has got track back, which a lot of people, that might frustrate some people because he'll be running back unless you play counter target on him. So there is a bit more management with him in terms of the formations and tactics and stuff. But I do like the fact that he is so rapid on the ball. And even though he doesn't have the best dribbling compared to some other players in terms of tight possession, which we'll see here, he is just so quick on the ball. And he just darts in and darts out, being a goal poacher, He's kind of like Romario. He reminds me a little bit like Romario. Obviously, um, he's not going to be as good, in my opinion. Now, there was previous versions of him. The eFootball Championship Pro version of him had better dribbling but worse balance. So it's kind of, you know, pick your poison. It's not really that much of a difference. I thought this MVP version of him was absolutely insane with 26 levels. And it had plus three offensive awareness with minus two balance. So you kind of are getting, you know, more of the same with uh, this Gabriel Jesus, uh, Jesus card. Um, it seems to be just a little bit of um, one or two, plus one or minus one or two on the balance and the offensive awareness. So I do like the fact that this guy's got 28 levels to go. And also on top of that, he has got some really nice stats that boost up when you get the player form arrow. So he's going to get um, a boost when he's got his, his top form arrow. He's going to get a boost to offensive awareness, dribbling, and he's also going to get a boost to uh, balance, acceleration, speed, stamina, finishing, tight possession, and ball control, which are all going to be in, in either the high 80s or the low 90s, which is extremely good for a card like this, especially when with the way that you're going to use him. This guy is going to be making runs off the shoulder and just picking out, um, you know, picking his runs and just being able to finish. 85 finishing isn't exactly going to set the world on fire, I would say, lads, right? So you need to, 
you need to kind of judge that if you are not getting the form arrow is 85 enough i think it is for the average player but if you do struggle in front of goal you probably want to pop that up to like 87 88 um to get the boost to 90 um but yeah that is kind of that is kind of what i would say about the arsenal pack so look it's a fairly okay selection i would say that uh jesus tommy yasu and martinelli are definitely three players i would be interested in looking at especially if you are a newcomer if you've been playing the game for a while it's more of the same and they're not really going to change the dial on your squad too much if you've got epics and legends so yeah this is not who it's probably aimed for so yeah that is it for me lads i'll be back in a bit we will be live streaming later so make sure you pop in at around 2 p.m until then talk to you later